Well, roughly, I have to say that we had to, to, to part our missions half-half, roughly, on targets on sea and on targets on land. That means to fight against the, the British Navy and or to sustain our uh, parachutists. These parachutists, when they, after they had landed, they were in a, they were in a disadvantage because they were carrying only light weapons. Yeah, yeah. The heaviest was a, sl a light mortar. Yeah. And this was not sufficient to counter the, uh, the Brit British, but all, mainly New Zealander and Greek troops yeah. on the island, which were fully armed with uh, artillery and even with light armored cars. But uh, Parachutists, they made it, and they held out in, in three points. In the west was Malemes, west of Kania, and then came uh, Retimon, and then came Kandia, Heraklion, in the center, the capital of the in island. And these three spots, they were sitting on the airports, but they couldn't branch out. They couldn't. Uh, they were pinned down and they had no force for a real offensive because they had nothing, no, uh, no reinforcement. And this reinforcement was then brought by the 5th Mountain Division. But how to bring over the 5th Mountain Division? We were no masters of the sea. These were the British. But we had, uh, we had the Italian Navy, which reluctantly helped a bit with light air... Uh, with light naval ships only. And uh, we had Greek schooners and uh, fishing trawlers and such thing. And these we used to transport our mountain troops over to Crete, protected by some two Italian destroyers. And just in this main transport of this uh, British light uh, naval forces, from the west through the islands of Kitera and Antikitera broke through and we had a, a first alarm start on the British Navy in the early, early morning. No, I, couldn't, I wouldn't say that they had so much of anti-aircraft, only uh, infantry weapons, just guns yeah. and some machine guns, yeah. but no serious uh, real flak. Aircraft, nothing. No, no aircraft. We mastered the air, the British mastered the sea, and on the ground we slowly, very slowly, uh, took the advantage. Uh, but targets on the ground were difficult to make out because there were orchards, little tiny orchards. Yeah. Uh, the whole thing was parted in a way to make it uh, un undeutlich, un undistinguishable. Uh. So it, but our parachutists and later on the, the, uh, the mountain troops, they put out signs where their forward, uh, forward units would be. Uh, be it a swastika, a white one, mainly that. And then we knew there they were. And so we had to search and to look for our enemy a little bit further. And then we saw it. But we didn't, first in our diving uh, altitude, from there you didn't see much yeah. of, of these targets. Yeah. You had to go down and make a strafing, real good old strafe. So we became, you know, we became more or less a strafing planes, ah, okay. yabos, yeah, more or less. There you also could lay a, a bomb. Yes, but then you had to put the bomb down with an, um, Delaying switch, yeah. otherwise you would have been in the explosion uh, of, the, uh, of your own bomb. Yeah. Things are like that had happened.